FPV drone racing is already a huge hit amongst RC hobbyists, and as the sport continues to grow in popularity, so do pro circuits. The Drone Racing League, or DRL, is trying to take the sport to the next level with awesome looking racetrack designs, innovative tech, and some of the coolest broadcast equipment we've ever seen. This is DRL's first official season, and we got to go to their second qualifying event, Level 2 LA Apocalypse, set in a real abandoned shopping mall near Los Angeles. DRL CEO and founder Nicholas Horbacheski gave us a walking tour of the enormous post-apocalyptic track. This is a very cool setting for a drone race because it allows us to use the full three-dimensional elements of racing. So the drones go up, they go down, they come around. And those drones aren't just flying up, down, and through simple hoops. DRL worked with Hollywood special effects company Legacy Effects to create a one-of-a-kind environment. Their experience working on films like Jurassic World, Iron Man, and Pacific Rim really shows in this elaborate course design. Not only does DRL have to consider how pilots from all over the world will fly through the track, but also how spectators will be able to see the drones, which travel up to 80 miles an hour at times. To do this, they borrow a cable system called the Batcam, which follows along and even gets ahead of the action. So the back cam is a cable cam that runs over the length of the course. It can go 100 miles an hour. You know, you got a 100 mile an hour camera chasing an 80 mile an hour drone. So it's, a, it's pretty exciting when they're both going full speed. Since racers require a constant video signal from the drone's FPV camera to see where their quadcopter is going at all times, DRL had to create a lot of the tech they use. The Drone Racing League has designed and built our own radio frequency equipment from the ground up. And it allows us to put on race courses on a scale uh, that's never been seen before. Each drone is also built from the ground up by DRL. This is our second model drone. It's called the Racer 2. It's all carbon fiber and it's designed for speed and maneuverability, but also for visibility for the audience. You'll see it's covered in these LED lights that when they're on are brightly lit and each in a different color. So you know which pilot is flying which drone. DRL provides its own drones for pilots. Because of that, racers can push the limits of their quadcopter and compete on true pilot skill as opposed to technical enhancements. We're always taking chances. We want to go as fast as we can and uh, you know, get that adrenaline rush that's what we need to do. So uh, that's what we live for as pilots. We often say to the pilots, if you're not crashing, you're not racing hard enough. Watching drone races feels like you're in a science fiction film. And if a race comes to your area, get a ticket. You won't be disappointed. Yeah.